Are you having fun in your business? I mean, it should be fun, right? Well, sometimes the fun gets overlooked when you're dealing with the have-tos, the complexities of being your own boss and actually running the show. It's my goal that this, the Fun Business Fun Money Podcast, can help reignite your spark of fun by providing tips, tools, insights, and inspiration so you can enjoy running your business in the simplest, easiest, most fun way possible. I'll be sharing practical tips and ideas that you can implement immediately, along with business and money mindset insights to keep you moving forward no matter what's going on around you. I'm your host, Deirdre Amies, the fun business and money coach and founder of Powered by Personality. Let's play. Hey there, and welcome back to the Fun Business Fun Money podcast. Now, as promised in last week's coaching episode, which is number 49, on being ready to be the breadwinner, Today, I've got the practical side of actually becoming that primary income earner. So if you haven't listened to that episode, make sure you go back and check it out. They're related, but they're not. You can listen to them in any order. Before we get into that, though, I want to give you a reminder that I am currently taking on new clients in Ignite, my private coaching program. This is you, me, one-on-one working on your business for six to 12 months and setting you up with a solid foundation to grow and scale from solopreneur to working with a team or leading an agency. We do an audit of your business right at the start to see where you can streamline things, what's working and what's not. I help you identify your zone of genius, the type of work that you do and get you sharing that with the world so that you're easily attracting your perfect for you clients. There is so much noise out there in the online world. Let's stop being fluffy and general. It's time to be super specific and direct. Tell people exactly who you are, what you do, and who you work with. We'll create your Goldilocks offer, the one that's got just the right balance for you and your clients, and implement a pricing structure that meets your financial goals within the next 12 months. And every step of the way, I'm there helping you with strategy and implementation, so you never feel like you're having to figure everything out on your own. If that sounds like your kind of thing, send me a DM about Ignite. I'm at Fun Business Fun Money, all one word, on both Facebook and Instagram. You'll find me on LinkedIn as well, or you can email hello at deirdreamies.com. You'll find the links to all of those in the description and in the show notes. Right then, continuing on from episode 49, what are the practical shifts that you need to support you becoming the primary breadwinner. Let's get into them. The very first one is know your numbers. Yes, it is time to be a responsible adult and know your numbers. This is about knowing your survive number and your thrive number. Your survive number is the minimum to cover costs. How much money do you actually need in order to pay your bills, to put food on the table, and live a comfortable standard of life? This is constantly changing at the moment as interest rates go up and inflation is all over the place. But that's even more reason to know your numbers. Your Thrive number, on the other hand, that is what you need to be earning in order to feel free free of mortgage stress, to clear debt, to pay all of your bills and still have plenty of fun money to play with. This is your freedom number because it really does feel like freedom to not worry about how you're going to pay for something. Now, as a connector money archetype, 
I would love to ignore this part and just trust that it'll all work out. But that's also very irresponsible. We all need to have at least a basic understanding of how much we need, where the money comes from, and where it's going. Yep, you need a budget. And that doesn't have to be a scary, rigid system involving spreadsheets and tracking every cent, although that's always a smart idea and the accumulator money type archetypes will absolutely have this in place already. It can be as simple as having a list of recurring expenses with the dates and the amounts and looking at your bank account on a daily basis to make sure everything is as it should be. Knowing your numbers means you can easily see if you're undercharging and when you need to bring in more clients or be more mindful of where your money is going. The second practical part of becoming the breadwinner and being a responsible adult with money is to delegate or outsource. You are not Wonder Woman. You are not a superhero. You do not have to do everything. What can you eliminate, delegate, or outsource in your personal life to make more time and space for your business? This is simply a matter of asking for help. If you're currently carrying the full load of household chores and caring for the family, setting some boundaries for yourself is essential. I know it's not easy, but it is essential. Personally, I need to know that everyone in my family is on an even keel before I can relax and truly focus on my business. By that I mean, is everyone mentally and physically okay right now? If one of my kids is struggling with something, even as a young adult, I still need to support them through it for my own peace of mind. I can't give my attention to helping the world and everybody else if one of my own needs that help as well. You can't be the one to carry the load for everyone. Tell them what you need and why. Share your dreams and goals and get your home team on board because this is for their benefit as well, so that you can step up and be the breadwinner. Now, it doesn't mean that the kids will actually unload the dishwasher until you lose your shit a few times, but you still have to tell them why you need their help in the first place. Communication is this magic thing that makes everything easier. So tell your family, get the home team on board. By the same token, what can you outsource? There will be tasks in your business that aren't the best use of your time, energy, or expertise. Hand these over, if you can, to someone who's better suited to it, whether it's a bookkeeper, a VA, or some other specialist support person. And outsourcing at home can take the form of a cleaner who comes in every week or every couple of weeks to do the deep clean on the kitchen, the bathroom, and everything else that doesn't need doing on a daily basis. You can get someone to run the errands for you, pick the kids up, get a neighbour whose kids go to the same school to help you out, order your groceries online to be delivered. There are so many things that don't have to cost a lot of money, but they save you a ton of time and energy that you can then utilize in your business as you become the breadwinner. Number three is time management. Love it or hate it, time management is kind of important because we all only have 24 hours in a day. We can't save it. So let's use it effectively with a bit of structure and focus. Where are you focusing your time and energy? Could you be more productive and efficient? What are the absolute essential things that need to be done in order for you to make money in your business? That is where you need to focus your attention in order to build a solid foundation that your amazing business empire is going to be built upon. For me, I need to know that the kitchen is clean and tidy and the the basics are done around the house 
so that I can tuck myself away in the office and do my thing. Because if I come out for, to get a, a glass of water or something or a cup of tea and see that there's mess everywhere, it's such a distraction. So that's what makes me more productive and efficient in my workspace. Same thing goes with my office. I cannot work in a mess. I need to have a tidy workspace cleared away before I can get to work. When I need to work on my laptop without distractions, I write in Evernote rather than in Google Docs because all the tabs I have open in Chrome are very distracting. There's notification dots appearing on emails or social media tabs. There might be pings from as messages come in. It's annoying. So I prefer to work in Evernote. And at the conference I went to a few weeks ago, we received goodie bags. And one of the items is a cube timer to challenge you to get tasks done in a time frame. And I actually used it as I wrote my notes for this episode. And trust me, racing against the clock is actually fun. Who knew? If you're faffing about creating graphics when an image maybe isn't even needed, where a simple selfie or a dog pic will do just fine, then you're wasting precious time and energy that's better put towards you stepping into that leadership as the breadwinner. Help yourself make more money. Outsource your graphic work to someone who has more skills and creativity than you do if you need an official graphic or get someone to create the template so that they're halving the amount of time and energy you have to put into it. Now, I talked about this in a bit more detail in episode 41, which is titled, Where Are You Hiding? The tasks that you're filling your time with can be holding you back from making the money you want. So stand tall and proud and just know that you did that. You made that money and created the life that you want. That's where you want to be. Don't let this stuff get in the way. Don't hide behind busy work and content and all the other distractions. Basically, stop faffing about, okay? You got this. Number four is self-care. I like to call this soul care because it's an all-in-one thing, all-encompassing. This one probably seems counterintuitive for some people, especially if you're a ruler archetype who's laser-focused on getting things done in the shortest time available. The worst thing you can do is throw yourself 110% into being the breadwinner and achieving that goal and not looking after yourself in the process. If you burn yourself out over-delivering on something, you're sabotaging your own success. I have seen too many amazing entrepreneurs go all in with these big launches. They're not sleeping or not able to get the sleep they need because they're trying to nurture everyone who needs their help, and they end up falling sick, or they need to take a week off to recover. That roller coaster energy doesn't help anyone, least of all you. Ruler archetypes have a tendency to push yourself to achieve a goal with no regard for your own well being. This is where structure, automations, planning ahead, and strategy are your friend in business. They're a form of self care in that they create breathing room and they reduce stress. If you're burning yourself out trying to do all the things, ask for help to get more structure and support in place so that you can take a breath and relax for more than just a moment. Set yourself up for success around your energy cycle as well. I'm at my best in the mornings and earlier in the week after the weekends. Leaving everything to Friday afternoon is not a good idea for me. But that could be perfect for you. I'm a morning person. You might be a night owl, in which case the 5am club people are absolutely mental as far as you're concerned. 
Don't worry, I am not a 5am type either. Those days are long gone. I have more of a a 7am vibe these days. And number five on the practical steps to becoming a breadwinner is financial education and management. This one differs from knowing your numbers, which was number one, and having a budget, in that you're being a responsible adult and a good custodian of money. This is about having a system in place, such as the Profit First framework, where you distribute your income across different accounts as soon as it comes in for different purposes. That means when tax time rolls around, you're not stressed at all because you know you've already got it covered. You've set that money aside rather than just winging it and leaving everything in your main business account. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a bookkeeper or an accountant. I have no desire to be any of those things. So this should not be taken as financial advice or anything along those lines. My purpose here is to bring your attention to a simple way of managing your finances that could work for you and help to reduce the anxiety or the overwhelm with the official formal money stuff. So I highly recommend you check out Profit First. It's a book by Mike Michalowicz. I'll link to the book in the show notes. There are also Profit First accredited accountants around the world who can assist you with implementing it, although there's certainly enough information in the book to get you up and running as well. Be a good custodian of money so you can grow your business, grow your income, grow your profit, and be the breadwinner. Our financial education is up to us. We all know it would have been handy to know that stuff in the school education system as we were growing up. That didn't happen. It's still not happening. So it is what it is. So those are my five practical tips to help you become the breadwinner. Let's just recap those. Number one was know your numbers. Know how much you need to earn to survive and also to thrive, and then aim for that freedom number. Number two is to delegate and outsource. Get your home team, aka your family, on board with your plans to become the breadwinner. You need their support as much as you need a VA or any other type of business support. Number three is time management. Be strategic about what you're doing with the time you have available, however many hours that is. Make it count. Number four is self-care or soul care. You can't help the world if you're not looking after yourself along the way. Plan your time out so you don't end up burnt out. And number five is financial education and management. You didn't learn it in school, so it's now up to you. Your breadwinner status hangs on your ability to be a good custodian of money. I want you to pick one of those areas that feels doable or important for you right now. Learn what you need to know about it and go and implement it. Then pick another one and go do that. Becoming the breadwinner doesn't have to be hard, especially when you combine it with those mindset shifts that I covered in episode 49. We can all do this. I get goosebumps just thinking about how amazing our world can be when more women and non-binary people, more people of color, more young people step up and claim their place as the breadwinner. No more sitting back and just taking what life serves you. Ain't nobody got time for that, all right? Now, I would love to hear what resonates the most with you about this episode. Send me a DM. I'm at Fun Business Fun Money, all one word, on Facebook and Instagram. You can connect with me on LinkedIn. I absolutely love that. And send me a message there. Or you can email hello at deirdreamies.com. You'll find the links to all of those in the description and in the show notes. And one last mention, 
if you'd like me to be your business coach for the next 6 to 12 months as you take action to become the breadwinner, send me that DM about Ignite. That's what I got for you today. Take care. Have fun being a responsible adult with money. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Oh, and by the way, I didn't beat the clock timer that I set to get the prep done for this episode, but I also wasn't far off and I got it done a lot faster than I would have otherwise. So yay for making a game out of time management. Thanks for joining me. If you found this episode useful, make sure you hit that follow button on your chosen podcast platform so you get the notifications when each new episode goes live and you don't miss anything. If you know someone who would also get something from it, don't be shy, share it with them. One of the best things about being a business coach for online entrepreneurs is helping them make sense of their creative ideas and turn them into a simple, clear business system that actually makes money. A client recently described me as a castle building expert. You've got the big vision and some of the building materials already, but you don't quite know how to bring it all together into a solid foundation. Then I come along and I show you the blueprint that makes sense of it all. I love that analogy. And I'd love to show you your personalized blueprint, the one that's just right for you and your clients. But I can't do that until you join Ignite, my business and money coaching program. So head on over to deirdreamies.com forward slash Ignite for all the details. Fill out the application form and let's talk about building your castle in the simplest, easiest way possible.